And we have been staying in touch with the mayor of Brook Park during the months of negotiations. Yeah, we have been, and we have followed up again today after the big news was announced. News 5's Nadine Almasada is live in Brook Park for us. Nadine, you talked to the mayor about this possibility before. How's he feeling now that it's public? Damon, Katie, well, across Brook Park, there's a excitement, whether it is with the governor, the governor, government, or it's with the people. But I want you guys to pay attention behind me. I'm standing right off of Snow Road, where this will be the new home to the Browns Stadium. Lots of excitement. I mean, you're talking about a destination, but for the mayor, he knows there's a lot of work that needs to be done ahead. In Brook Park, there's lots of enthusiasm now that the Browns Stadium is a reality. What I think it's a good, good decision. I think I'm most excited about the possibilities and the concerts and everything that the stadium will bring and mm -hmm. just boosting the city's economy. I think it will be a good thing for our city. I think it will bring uh, lots of people into our city and build the equity in our homes and bring a lot of businesses. Brook Park Mayor Edward Orcutt had been in conversation with the Browns for more than a year pushing for the new Dome Stadium off Snow Road. How do you feel that the news is finally out? We know that there's a lot of work to do. We understand that we have to roll up our sleeves and, and put this all together still, but we're excited. Mayor Orcutt reminds everyone how big this move will be not just for the city, but for the region. It's going to bring more events to this area. Some of the events will be larger. Obviously, our football games will be able to have high attendance, especially when it's cold outside. There's people that will have to work there. We're generating revenue by the f people that come and visit the Stone Stadium. He's not alone in his excitement. City Council members are ready to get to work, too. There are going to be some issues with, with traffic that we might have to address, but I think overall, uh, uh, the opportunity is worth doing the work, and that's something I've been excited about this entire time. Yeah, I'm so happy they chose us. Like I said, if the numbers are right, obviously it'll be a go. We're, we're happy. I know we've, we've wanted it. Mayor Orcutt adds that no matter where they play, the team will always be the Cleveland Browns. They're not leaving. They're still the Cleveland Browns. They're not. And what I'd say is that we have to be open-minded. We have to look at, you know, what is the impact for this region? Is it wrong to look into something new? I don't think so. I think you have to be adventurous and see what we can do to expand. And then also it gives us the opportunity to develop the lakefront. Now let's talk timeline. Obviously there's lots of logistics the mayor says they have to iron out, but it's not he hopes they get a shovel in the ground within the year. He says they have to get a shovel in the ground within the next year. But this announcement is just one piece. There's still lots more to come and he looks forward with working with the county, the state and city officials on this next big step. And as I mentioned earlier, it's building a destination, creating a destination right here in Brook Park that people will travel to see guys. A a lot of excitement right here in Brook Park. Katie Damon. All right, Nadine covering all the angles. Thank you for the update.